Welcome to Brandon Socket. Today, we're looking at how to build a document or a bulk email. So you'll notice on the left hand side, we're going to go to this pie chart icon and it's titled marketing tools. And you'll notice we have document manager, but we also have email templates. And so the best way to distinguish between the two email templates are for one offs. So if you're going to send a template or you want a template available for different types of customers that come into socket, you're going to create an email template. If you're going to send a bulk email or create a process where something happens in socket, we're going to send this exact email to every single person. When the following happens, you're going to create a document. And so in this case here, we're going to click the word document manager uh, before we build a, uh, build a campaign and before we build a business rule or use list builder. So document manager, pardon me, is always the first step. So when we click on a document manager, it opens up and you're, you're at sort of the, the field where you can search your current documents or you can create a new one. So don't be like me where you just start titling the name uh, and making your document. You always have to come up here to the new button and click new. So I'm going to click new. You'll notice new document shows up and friendly name. So it looks a little bit different. So when creating email, there's a few steps you have to create for these drop downs and these little radio buttons, I call them um, before you hit save. And so first and foremost, if it's an email document, go email, auto email, select the category. So if it's a vehicle ownership email you're sending, create uh, choose the category. Uh, in this case here, it's a dealership offer. So I'm going to keep it on the default document name. And as some of my videos have stated, I'm just going to title it January 2020 F-150. Okay. Or I can title it buyback. Jan, Jan 2020 buyback. Friendly name, mostly likely going to be your dealership name. So Brandon Socket. And that's simply the name that shows up in the email. When you see your emails, you'll see it comes from Brandon Alexander, Brandon Socket. That's the friendly name. Email subject, you know, thanks for your interest. Or my most recently favorite one, did Santa not get you what you really wanted? Reply address. So this one, for some people, they just enter an email. But you want to choose rep reply. And what rep reply is, every salesperson has rep reply as the reply address in their user profile. So if we email this document to John Smith's customers and they reply, he's going to get the reply email in his task list and on his dashboard if he's got an email received, right? So, you know, when building documents and marketing campaigns, you want to let the salespeople know what's going on and to watch for their email received tasks in their task list. Reply other. If it's a small enough list and you, you know, you're the general manager and you want to get a copy of that email, you can just select your name, uh, click out. And so anybody in here will get a reply, but you'll get a reply on every single email. So just food for thought. If that's something, um, you know, some BDCs want some general manager want so on and so forth. So once I've got those one, two, three, four, five ish things, um, selected, I can hit save and we have a 2020 buyback campaign ready to go. Now the joy of this is I'm pretty sure if I want to just duplicate this, I can go Feb 2020 save as. And when I go to the drop down list now, um, I've got my Feb right there and my Jan right there. So I know I did a video talking about putting your uh, 2020 marketing plan in place. This is a quick and easy way where, you know, and, and maybe we reverse the title. Maybe we go 2020 Feb buyback, hit save, All right? I'm going to pull up Jan 2020 and I'm going to change it to 2020. Whoops, I typed it down there. We're going to change this to 2020 space Jan, right? That way they're all listed in the same area. So if I go, I didn't put a space in there. Way to go, Brandon. Don't you know you're recording a video? Yes, I do. Okay, if I go to the list now, there's my 2020 Jan, Feb. If you want to number them, you know, one Jan, two Feb, uh, three March. So this, you know, now we're going to go March. 
this is a quick and easy way. Ah, it should have hit save as I'm so silly. So you gotta be careful. Can't rush this. So if I go Jan, save as, it's gonna save. I'll come back into my list and I've got my three documents already created. And so what I can do then is when I know what my January message is gonna be and I, I create it in a, you know, a third party HTML editor, I can come in here and take HTML and paste it in. I can use some of these icons up here. And so the typical icons I use, there's three really. I use the hyperlink, I use the insert table, and I use the uh, show image, as well as last but not least, sorry, two more code snippets to insert items from events or vehicles of interest, uh, sorry, vehicles that they own, so on and so forth. And I also use add video to use YouTube videos, okay? So let's just create a default February, a January buyback email. So I am gonna go insert table two by two. It gives me the ability to insert a dealership logo. I'm not sure what's in here, so we will see. So I'm gonna use, all right, it's a Jaguar uh, Land Rover. So there's my Jaguar Land Rover. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna change the width to 500. It could be 650 if you wanted. And then I can start typing my message. Hello, space, code snippet, first name, comma, enter, enter, right? And so then you can type your message out. And let's just say, here is, my computer's acting up, here is our inventory. If I take, if I take this word, highlight it, I can then use the hyperlink to insert my, uh, my link, right? Uh, we'll go www.brandonsocket.com. Now, if you've watched my custom URL videos, you'll know that this is not a good URL. You want to actually um, create a custom URL. And so I think I'll, I'll link that up top here in the video. But you want to do a custom URL so you can track this link um, on your website. And so if I preview it, this is exactly how it'll look. And when the customer clicks the link, it'll take them to that page. Please note, when you're within Document Manager and you click this link, it doesn't work. But when you send your test email to your clients, or sorry, to yourself as a test, it will work. It just, when you're within the Document Manager preview, it doesn't work on, on clicking the link. So just, you know, fair warning. That, I believe, is it for making a document. Um, I will create a video and mention right here that we can take this link and if we had a smart link campaign created, which is linked up top right now, and it's in the description, we can actually create a campaign off of a click within this email. So food for thought. Um, that's creating a document really quick and easy. Uh, make sure you follow the steps and we will see you in the next video.